When you open the ecath, you'll have a cannula loaded onto the needle already. Before you start, you should flush with saline or local along this to, to put local anesthetic along and inside the cannula. It'll help it to be more echogenic when you start. Place the needle to the depth that you want it under ultrasound, and when you're ready to remove it, you need to turn the hub of the, of the cannula, not the needle, to 90 degrees and it will slide off. You don't have to insert up to the hub completely, you can leave some out, that's fine. But this mechanism of twist and remove will make your life much easier. At that point, you must insert the catheter through the cannula. It is exactly the same length and it will come just to the tip of the cannula. Screw it on. It has a distal lumen and a proximal lumen. So if there's any blockage at the tip, the proximal lumen discharges into the, ca into the um, cannula and it will continue to flow. A little bit of opsite underneath here, padded opsite to protect the skin is a good idea. I generally don't use skin glue in these because the, the, the size of the hole that you've created is um, sealed by the cannula. When you have created the completed unit with the cannula and the catheter, it's very resistant to kinking when bent. If the end is blocked with tissue or with blood and the distal lumen is blocked, or there's a kink halfway along that would protect, prevent flow, the proximal lumen here should discharge into the cannula so that it's still able to flow out of the tip. 